This next video we're reacting to is a video on Chris Tyson. I don't see, I don't usually find out about these people until a controversy. Apparently, it's Mr. Beast's close friend who is in a lot of videos. Apparently, now they're not anymore after some weird controversy. But I don't know what the truth is. I don't know the full details. I've just heard like whispers. Um, this video looked like a good one to go over. It is by Adrox. Adrox. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I'll leave it in the description, of course. And it says, this video would make you hate Chris Tyson. <laughs> Sounds pretty uh, cut and dry there. So let's just see what this person has to say. Before starting this video, I want everyone to understand two things. First of all is drawings. Japanese manga. This is already over with. <laughs> yeah. It's explicit and involves cartoon characters. It's focused on characters and plots depicting. <sighs> now, I think it's clear enough for anyone to understand what it means if a real person draws or likes drawings. The yeah. second thing is, I will not make up anything or accuse anyone. I will only show some disgusting and unbelievable things Chris has done, along with proof. So we're saying, uh, yeah, so we're saying Chris Tyson is with proof uh, into Lolly. See, I don't, I'm not going to give anyone um, the benefit of the doubt being into that kind of thing. I'm just not. I'm not, I'm a really skeptical person anyways. And so if someone's expressing interest in that, mm -hmm, that's disgusting. But now you're probably thinking, what in the world does Chris have to do with all of this? To say the least, you're wrong and right at the same time. However, there's a very okay. sketchy personality involved in this story, also known as Shadman. Shadman was a normal guy until he decided to attend an art university in Switzerland to pursue his passion for art. However, shortly after, he was expelled when some of his artwork was discovered to be illegal, even considered a danger to society. But something more extreme was about to happen. He no. lost his own website, and that's when his talented artwork came to light. In 2011, he did a very disgusting and unexpected thing. He released part of his own mother. As ex Did not think this was going to go here. I'm sorry. <laughs> to all of you watching, I'm sorry. He didn't stop there. Someone will tweet on November 8th, 2016, asking Shadman to draw Keemstar's daughter, who was seven years old at the time doing inappropriate things with Donald Trump. Shadman will respond by saying that if Trump wins the election, he will deliver it. And as we know, Trump wins, and as promised, Shadman will post drawings of her in an unusual manner. As if this wasn't enough, he'll later release a drawing of her giving Donald Trump. However- Dude, like, what is this? This is disgusting. What are we talking about? Shadman's vision was much worse than imagined. On January 24th, 2017, he posted a picture of Daphne Keene, referring to her as a real-life lo- Shockingly, just a he few days be later, jail. he began posting drawings depicting her being severely- Stop what makes it! What more disturbing what? is that she was only 12 years old at the time. Yet, this wasn't the first time Shadman has done- How is he allowed to post somebody else's kid like that? Like, I'm sure some of y'all know, is that legal? I'm sure- he didn't get in trouble at all, but is that legal? That's and so disgusting. Like Lieutenant Corbis is also one of them. But aside from all that, a new question arises. How are Ava and Shadman linked? Well, the answer to this is another drawing by Shadman. It depicts a young girl wearing a please be patient, I have autism cap, pointing a gun at her mouth. She has a fidget spinner as an earring and a spade tattoo on her thigh that says BBC, which we all know what it means. On November 18th, 2017, a This one is intense, y'all. This video is only seven minutes long. We're two and a half minutes through and I'm sweating. Even respond to a tweet from Grande and Mr. B stating, this is coming from a guy who owns a shad-based drawing and has it as a centerpiece in his living room. Do you ever wonder how these people are just so comfortable saying something like that? Not just doing it, which is disgusting, but like saying it 
They're so comfortable. It makes me kind of scared. Just some time later, they also posted the exact same drawing laid on the floor with the caption, bonus fidget spinners to throw some extra autism. Initially, it seems Chris was disgusting. being sarcastic because this tweet came after Shadman had drawn all those disgusting images. However, something messy That's was going on behind the scenes. In this Mr. Beast video, you'll notice a very familiar thing at the 9 minutes and 30 second time. It's the poster! From what I believe, keeping illegal art in the bedroom isn't normal at all. The shocking thing is that Mr. It's Beast the and only Chris thing on the wall. were roommates during that time. Yeah, this is nothing in comparison the to the next incidents. On no. April okay. Get 16th, 2018, <laughs> Avery replied under a deleted Shadman post saying, No Beast Boy trap, Shad? You've changed. Basically, Avery was asking Shadman to draw art of Beast Boy. As Beast Boy was shown at different ages in the From show, that cartoon. he can't say anything for certain. But that doesn't mean the tweet wasn't strange. Though we definitely can't... That's not a joke. I don't... I'm sure some people are like, oh, it's just a joke. No, that's not a joke. Like, that's not a... Say the same about the next tweet. On January 17th, 2018, a person tweeted saying, Remember this growing up? Me too. Check it out at Chadbase. Featuring Caillou. a photo of the four-year-old cartoon character Caillou with his mother. Obviously, we know Shadbase is a website <sighs> with very disgusting content involving children and comic book characters. And the tweet clearly referenced that. But instead of opposing it, Chris joined in and replied, Help, I need an adult. I don't think there's any need to explain how Why are you interacting with them anyways? This is not, um... This is definitely something to take it's seriously. But what's even crazier is Ava's next tweet. Maybelle and Dipper are 12-year-old siblings from a show called Gravity Falls. On July 14th, 2017, a user tweeted comics of these characters kissing. Ava replied, they're twins, so at this point, it's just mad right? Why is Chris interacting with this kind of content? Who does that? We know who does that. <sighs> I mean, it's almost unbelievable that Ava Chris Tyson was tweeting this. This just reflects their personality and feelings. No, but that's good. I like when people are really, really, really dumb and they expose themselves like that. Good job. The it's strange good part for is that they delete most of their tweets later on. Anyway, Tyson's tweets will only become more shocking and unusual from now on. This person's doing it over and over and over. On June 21st, 2018, a user posted some scenes of a 14-year-old character named Violet from the movie Incredibles. Yeah. Avery replied saying, Loki, she's cute. The fact that Violet was 14 and Ava was a grown oh, adult this makes this even worse. The surprising part is that Ava wasn't just reacting to Shadman's work. They were friends or knew each other, to say the least. On April 16th, 2019, Ava will post a clip from their live stream where they accidentally visited Shadman's website. What's even weirder is that they gave him a shout out stating, shout out to Shadbase for having safe for work drawings today. I accidentally put up his website on stream. How did no one catch this earlier? How? This is a popular person. I'm so glad I wasn't following them or However, if you still think this is a coincidence, the next it's incident not. will definitely change your mind. On January 25th, mm -mm. 2019, Shadman posted a picture of a character called Raftalia from the Rising of the Shield Hero. There are two versions of her in the show. In one, she's 17, and in the other, she's 10. Shadman posted a 10-year-old hey. version stating, What is this, and why do people keep sending me this? Ava replied underneath saying, Please, Shad, please. They are, like, almost friends at this point. I believe <laughs> everyone understands what this means. As Shadman is basically an illegal artist who draws this stuff. Obviously, this is messed up, but things didn't get better. On January 24, 2020, a user named Ather replied to Ava with a photo of a lot. The story behind this image is that there are two versions of the image. One with the girl clothed and the other without. And the post was liked by Ava. This person, why is it that, the, that so many of these people get famous and then they just like, are just messing with kids? Why? Why is this who gets famous? I don't understand. This happens all, it's happening a lot lately, is what I mean. These were just the incidents that had proofs or were recorded before they deleted everything. One of the tweets, which wasn't clear or was out of context, said, Stop it! <laughs>
Something gets my knob cranking like some As we know, the meaning is inappropriate, but let's just let it go. Now, some people may argue that these tweets are years old. I want to clarify again that I am not hating or accusing anyone. This is purely for educational purposes. It's important to understand that Ava was invited to the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards and everyone should be aware <laughs> and of And these people always end up around kids. Now, I don't care. I don't care about trans. Trans is fine. I don't care. That's great. Enjoy. Whatever. I'm talking about this weird interaction. Of this. It's so obvious. The fact that Shadman wasn't just an artist, but drew literal kids is even worse. He was basically a predator. This situation has led to me thinking about one thing. What might have happened between Chris and Katie, as most of these tweets are from that period. We can't make assumptions, but who knows? We can't. This might be the reason. But yeah, we can only hope for the best and improvement. One, one important takeaway from this is to stay away on the internet too. It's not as safe as it looks. It's never been safe, but... I don't know how people can ignore this kind of thing and keep following and keep watching and keep boosting this person up after seeing even just one of those interactions seeing that is just weird it's hard for me to talk i'm sure you all feel the same way it's just so gross i'm just glad that minute that um this video was only seven minutes long because i'm I didn't realize until I started making these kind of videos that this really brings my mood to a weird place after reacting to such a, a concerning content. Let me know what y'all think. I'm sure that it's the same as me. <laughs> Freaking gross.